What's that noise? It can only be a new functionality drop in the Blueback toolbox. Hello, my name is Rafael Moura and welcome to another How To's with Blueback. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the pressure gradient analysis. The pressure gradient analysis tools allows the user to import and store pressure data in Petrel and then find the pressure gradients. So let's have a look on how the functionality works. works. So if you access, once you launch the Petrel with the blue back toolbox, reservoir engineering toolbox, if you go to your blue back home icon and you search for the pressure, I can type in pressure to search for the functionality, here, here it goes, so it's available under the reservoir engineering toolbox. If I click on it, you can access the help for this icon here. So the first step of this workflow is to import your pressure data. How can you do that? Any Excel file or any kind of ASK format file. So if you go to this icon, we can expand this window and then we're going to select our file. I have here the test GoFax data. I open it. Then all you need to do is to define the number of header lines, what's the delimiter used on the file. So in our case it's a tab. We have a preview of the file on the bottom of the window and then you can select where is the well name, column number one, where is the depth, column number two in our case. Our, I've already done it and here are the units. Column four is pressure data, column five is the tool type, the quality is on column 6 and we have nothing on the on this column here so I can select ignore then define also what kind of depth data you're working on in our case is true vertical depth and then I can hit OK it's fine so we can see on the display here on the bottom you get you can filter this data, how can you filter it? You can use a 3D grid and by using a 3D grid you also can filter on the zone, on the segment and inside the grid. You can use your facies, uh, zone log, or also a polygon. So if you select a polygon you can filter to keep the wells outside or inside that polygon. Those are all the sorts of filter filters that we made available. So let's have a look on the display. On the display here, this icon can bring us a legend, a legend. So we can already see that it's given for us some guidelines. So the hydrostatic hydro gradient, the lithostatic, the fracture, and the mud gradient. And you can always determine how this display will look like. Right now we are displaying the units here by pressure and depth, but you can also change this to be in density if you prefer so. And you can always change the color as well of your data. So here on the color, I can say display by well. Now I have I get the well numbers. And let's start with a quick exercise selecting one of the wells. So I'm going to work with this green well, which is the C1. I'm going to deselect all the others. And I'm interested in finding the pressure gradient lines for this particular cluster of points. So the first step is to zoom in. I'll zoom into this cluster of points. Okay, I can clearly see two gradients. One belonging to this cluster of points here and another one with this one. So, in order to automatically determine the pressure gradient, what we need to do is the application will apply uh, a best fit line to the selected visible points that you have uh, in your display. So, I will change first the color now to be quality. Let's go to quality. The reason for that is I just want to work with, I don't want to use, we see that this blue dot here is poor, I don't want to use this for my gradient and now using the razor I'm going to deselect some of the points so I can deselect the points 
by doing a mouse button one, holding it and keeping it on, 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 the, on the screen. And now if those are the points that I want to work with, you can also select the cursor if you want to. And if you double click in one of the points, you can change the quality of it, you can edit a comment or so on. So with those points selected, those are the visible and selected points, I can apply, I can create a new gradient line. Here is my line, it's showing that it's guess. If I double click on the gradient line, I can also go to the join style and I can determine the minimum and the maximum for each fluid. So gas, oil and brine. Uh, let's let's uh, invert our selection by using this icon here. So now all the points, if I toggle this line off, they were highlighted first, now they are disabled and then we got the other points enabled. And we can do the same process, we create a new gradient line. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the gas as well. And the intersection point between these two best lines are, is giving us the fluid contact. So I can use my scissor to clip those lines. And here we have our fluid contact. By double clicking again on the gradient lines and going to the statistics, you can get the gas water contact in minus 2,179.32 meters. Those are the basic functionalities out of the pressure gradient analysis. There are more to come. Please send us emails if you'd like to see more videos about this too. If you have further questions, please contact us on our support channel or at sales at Blueback Reservoir. Thank you.